Okay, it looks like uh, I possibly might be able to eat some popcorn with butter. Um, let me go ahead and uh, turn it on here. Now I've got it uh, on the uh, high speed uh, transmission on the mill and uh, I'll go ahead and turn it up all the way. Seems to be pretty uh, The spindle here is uh, turning, turning at 2,000, and then uh, I can actually speed it up more with the belt drive, but this seems to be a happy medium right there. It's, it works smooth. And then of course from 2000, I can bring it back down. But the, uh, the original uh, pulley that came off the treadmill that's what did it. I've got about a one to seven drive there. And uh, I think it's gonna work out just fine. Like I say, the little jobs that I do, I'm not gonna worry about it. It also, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but down below I cut off the, uh, the plastic, uh, on the uh, on the treadmill and that retains the stock wire inputs there and that's a thermal uh, switch also and then of course uh, that goes there so I just thought I would uh, show you I've run it for a half an hour straight with no problems. Doesn't pop the thermal circuit breaker or anything. It's 15 amps and also it has a thermal uh, a thermal switch. It's running pretty smooth. And I can also, I don't know if you can see it, I can also Whoa. Well, let's slow it down. That's at the limits right there at the high speed. And then I'll uh, shift into uh, low speed here. You can see how slow that uh, turns if I can get the light down here. You can see it. So, I mean, it's it's not as good as the original motor, however, it's good enough for me not spending $1,500. I got my mill back. I'll be able to do everything that I want to do. And uh, the next thing, uh, 
I'm going to hook this up so that uh, I can reverse reverse switch it. In order to do that, since that's a screw on pulley, the small one, I put two set screws in it so it'll run the other way also without coming off. So, there you go.